cause a difficult shot to land as well, especially one who's going to try and count you with a straight left hand coming back. It, it's hard, that's why there's a lot of oh, nice shot. Left hand, and now he wants to go to work on Harrison in the opening round. The gun shield almost came out with that left hook. Oh, great shot. Terrific uppercut. And a tremendous right hand. He's gone. He's gone. He's out. He's out. He's out. The fight is all over. Literally just feeling each other out with that jab. There's the right hand, that's the big shot. And he goes looking for Harrison straight away. One, the first punch he's landed has put three. Harrison down in the corner. Just. And the referee stopped it. Terry O'Connor stopped it in the first round. And big shot. And well, when he, got the, when he got the opportunity, he almost swung himself off his feet. After that initial right hand, there wasn't much clean landed, I didn't think, Paul. But it's just these now, see, just on the side of the gloves and cuffing around the back of the head. They, they'll disorientate it as well, you know, these were a bit naughty on the floor. And Wilder's almost on the floor himself, throwing them shots. But nice sharp left hook, right hand. And it's David Price's favourite shot, right on the button, right on the side of the temple. Shook all up a bit, he didn't look... You know, he wasn't gone off it, but these shots just sent him over with the... With the force of them, these ones are on the side of the head now, you know, they, they will shake it up a little bit. It's a year or two back against Vladimir Virchis of the Ukraine, who is uh, the current European champion and a big man. He's beaten Timo Hoffman as well, also a big man as well. Oh, good shot! off and then whoosh oh John I mean it was a roundhouse left hook and you just couldn't have timed he couldn't have timed it better and he got it all the way to his boots John heavyweight boxing and that is why it is always something special talk about this stuff which they put on in cages nowadays Anthony a go go Do it again. Therefore, I wanted to turn pro and become become world champions of pro. That Cunningham fight, the last fight, did you you felt your eye go? Yeah, yeah. I felt it go in round one or round two. I felt it really go. It wasn't great before, but it really went, which I didn't think was going to happen. What, when you say it went, what did you feel? It's a collision. The two fighters, like it happens every single time when you fight. It wasn't a headbutt or an elbow or a punch. It was just a collision, and I pulled away. And I'm now seeing Craig Cunningham, and there's two of them. One is down here, my right eye was pointing down there, and my left eye, he was up here, but twisted. He was like lying down. He was like, I was like, I was getting hit by somebody who's levitating eight foot in the air, not an angle. And I was like, I'll tell you what, though, it's a much better fight than I thought it would be. It's a cracking fight. Cracking fight. Well, we had a really good contest. First up between Sean Davis and Paul Economides. Kalyafai with what was a routine win, really. We know that he's up for world honours next. And then this, which has been really interesting. Again, that left hand gets through. The front foot splayed wide there from a go go. All Sean Cunningham here in this round again. Landed several times there with the backhand straight down the middle. Bit of tape, I think, is loose from the glove. Is that why he's killed? The go-go probably needs it a bit more than Cunningham. Cunningham looking towards his corner. Well, looks can be deceiving, but Anthony Gogo looks like he's breathing heavy. His mouth's open. He looks tired. Anthony, Con uh, sorry, Craig uh, Cunningham looks, uh, looks relaxed. He looks confident, and he can't wait for action to resume. No. If something was going on in the corner there because that was taking Whoa. a very, very long time. Tony And in the blue corner, Orlanier Solis, Cuba. Well, who would have thought we would have Cuba against England for gold and silver in a world championship? But that is the case here in this heavyweight division. This is the 21-year-old, and this is just the 20-year-old box a couple of years ago and he has done wonderfully to recover from that.
but two points now the difference and this has been a terrific round from Solace Hay next one back he's got to use that right hand again he's got him again but it wasn't just as hard but it's a leveling point as opposed to a contest ending point terrific support from Hay here now Solace has recovered absolutely wonderfully from what nearly was a contest winning shot from the Englishman and he's to keep his, his left hand just up a little bit he doesn't want to take too many of these times you know he needs to keep his hands up and just go out there and fight well come and gone 10 points now to Solis. Hey, doesn't want to get stopped. I'm quite sure in the final of the World Championships, he gave us such a bit of excitement in that opening round. He's got to hang on. He's got to do a little bit more. He looks very tired, and Solis is threatening to stop this. He's now 13 points up, and this may not see the end of the round. What a disappointment for Hay. It's all over. Wayne Rose has stepped in, and he's stopped it. And he's got a silver medal. He's very happy with that. But for one thrilling, magical moment, it looked as if Hay was going to turn the whole thing on its head and Results win the gold in the contest. opening round. The referee stopped the contest. The winner, a 91 kilo world champion, Odlanier in the red corner. Cuba. Odlanier Solis Fonte, the 21 year old junior world champion from 1998, the Pan American champion of 99, the national champion for the past two years. <laughs> Doch Zeichen die letzten Sekunden dieser ausgeglichenen ersten Runde. Oh, gute Rechte, die da an die Schläfe kam von Klitschko. Volltreffer an die Schläfe, der ist schwer mitgenommen, der ist schwer mitgenommen. Soli sitzt am Boden, kommt der noch mal hoch. Oh wei, oh wei, der steht nicht bei Acht, der ist schwer K.O., der kann, muss hier beendet werden, der kann nicht mehr stehen. Ist das zu fassen? Gut begonnen, hier noch mal schauen, er geht nach vorne, bringt die Rechte und hier kommt der Konter. Klasse, die Rechte an die Schläfe, obwohl da der Handschuh von Solis doch da oben war, eigentlich zur Deckung hochgezogen war. Da sieht man diese Wucht. Mein lieber Mann. Und da hat er sich noch am Bein wehgetan. Das hat man kurz gesehen. Schauen wir hier noch mal hin, wie sich das alles entwickelt hat. Kurz vorbeigezogen, oben an die Schläfe. Und Solis wackelt. Und als er dann zu Boden fällt, am rechten Bein, wenn ich das jetzt mit richtig gesehen habe, hier, da kann er nicht mehr richtig stehen. Und Tage, Solis. Oh wei, oh wei. Und ähm, das ist hier völlig anders lief. Verhan sona eriyor. Boksörler köşelerine gidiyor. Old Line'ın Solis için her an daha da zorlaşmaya başladı karşılaşmada. Kübolu boksör için iyi başladığı sayılabilecek bir karşılaşma gitgide daha zor bir hal aldı. Tony Thompson rakibine karşı üstünlüğü ele geçirmiş olan taraf konumunda. WBC ağır siklet Amerika kıtası şampiyonluk maçı bu. 12 roundlık bir karşılaşma ve 8 roundı geride bıraktık. Birazdan 9. roundda puanlamaları öğreneceğiz. İlk 8 round sonunda. İlk 4 round sonunda 3 hakemden ikisi Old Diner Solis önde göstermişti ama ilerleyen 4 roundda işin renkli biraz değişmiş durumda. Solis'te bir sakatlık mı var acaba? Solis'te bir sakatlık mı var acaba? Şu an kritik anlar bunlar. Solis maça devam edebilecek mi? Hayır Solis maça devam edemeyeceğe benziyor. Solis maça devam edemeyeceğe benziyor. Bakalım nasıl bir karar çıkacak oradan. Köşesinden maça dönmesi isteniyor. Bakalım Solis maça devam edecek mi? Hakem sayıyor Oldliner Solis'e. Evet, evet, evet. Oldliner Solis. Oldliner Solis maça geri dönemedi. Büyük şok, büyük drama ringde. Olimpiyat şampiyonu, amatörlerde dünya şampiyonu olmuş Oldliner Solis için büyük şok. Üst üste kariyerinde ikinci mağlubiyeti alıyor.